so students in the previous uh, video we were discussing about the semi autonomous autonomous nature of chloroplast so uh, as i told you there are uh, dna genetic material in the chloroplast and they also have transcription and translation machinery so the first time dna was observed in the chloroplast by uh, ris and plant plant is the name of scientist and ris is also one scientist so the chloroplast dna contains uh, is double helical and it contains about 135000 base pairs length that is around 45 micrometer Uh, in length second chloroplast have 70s type of uh, ribosomes which are very similar to bacterial ribosomes next protein uh, synthesis also takes place in chloroplast uh, dna of the chloroplast encodes for mrna rrna and trna and ribosomal proteins many ribosomal protein and some of them are also encoded by nucleus so next we will see how much of the uh, different kind of pigment and proteins are present in, in the uh, different component of the chloroplast so the chemical constituent proteins is around 35 to 55% of the dry weight of chloroplast and most of this is insoluble protein that means if the protein is cytoplasmic then it will be soluble if it is integral membrane or peripheral uh, membrane bound protein then it will be insoluble so as you see around 80% Uh, protein in the chloroplast are insoluble because they are integral membrane protein mostly present in the thylakoid membranes second is lipid is around 20 to 30% of dry weight of chloroplast and lipids are fats sterol wax and phospholipids phos uh, phosph phosphatides the so phosphatides are List around two to seven percent. Fats are maximum fifty percent. Sterols are twenty percent, and wax is sixteen percent. Third component is carbohydrate, which varies. So among carbohydrate, starch is the primary component. Sugars and phosphate uh, phosphates are around. Sugar phosphates are around three to Seven percent. Uh, rest is mostly starch. Starch also varies uh, according to the time of day. So when the there is more photosynthesis, then starch content of the leaf is high. When there is less photosynthesis, photosynthesis, it is less. Next is chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is around nine percent. and of which chlorophyll a is uh, 75% and b is less which is uh, around 25% next is carotenoids carotenoids are 4.5% of the dry weight of chloroplast of which xanthophyll and carotenes are uh, com main components xanthophyll is around 75% carotene is then beta uh, they have beta carotene alpha carotene so around 25% among nucleic acid rna is 3 to 4% of dry weight because there is lot of rna present per one gene can produce many rna so it's more as compared to dna which is only 0.12 to 0.2%. So this was 
this lecture was in continuation with the previous lecture about the structure of chloroplast thank you